A disturbing crime involving children on the Outer Banks. A man arrested for inappropriate acts against young visitors at a campground. Now authorities want to know if more kids were violated on vacation by the same man. It's not something the children or parents expected to have to deal with on a relaxing trip to the Outer Banks. And tonight, authorities say they need to keep looking for more possible victims. 23-year-old Joseph Edwards is charged with dissemination of obscene materials to minors. Deputies say he showed porn to a group of teens at a campground in Waves just south of Rodanthe. Then at your side's Brandy Cummings has more on what we found out today on the Outer Banks. None of the people we spoke to today say they knew anything about what happened here over the weekend. Investigators, though, tonight are sending a warning to any parent who visits the Outer Banks. Be aware of, of who's around your, your children and, and what your children are doing. Don't let your guard down, even on vacation. That's the message from Dare County investigators to the thousands of visitors in the Outer Banks. The strong warning comes after a visitor is arrested for sex crimes. Parents reported that their, uh, their children or their child was exposed to uh, some obscene material by a 23-year-old uh, man who had displayed it on his cell phone. Dare County Sheriff Sergeant Doug Oberbeck says the crime happened here at this campsite in Waves. Deputies have asked that we not reveal its name to protect the visitors who became victims still here. According to Sergeant Oberbeck, on Saturday, 23-year-old Joseph Edwards from Columbia, North Carolina, showed porn to a 13- and 14-year-old girl. Sergeant Oberbeck says a 16-year-old year old boy saw it too. The material he displayed would be considered uh, pornographic videos and pictures. Deputies say three days later it was one of the victim's parents who called to report the crime. They were uh, clearly upset about the situation and, uh, and were concerned that it happened. Sergeant Oberbeck says the teens knew Edwards because they'd all been frequent visitors to the Outer Banks over the years. That's how their investigation quickly led them to arrest Edwards at his grocery store job in Nagshead on Saturday. Tonight, he's out of jail on bond, but facing two felony charges. Investigators say they don't know if there are any other victims, but they're asking any other parents who think their children may have come in contact with the suspect to call the Dare County Sheriff's Office. In Waves, North Carolina, I'm Brandi Cummings, 10 on your side.